Hi, I'm Robert Chen from Thorn Technologies, and I'm going to walk you through setting up SFTV Gateway on Azure. SFTV Gateway is a Linux-based SFTV server that you could use to upload your files to Azure Blob Storage. So here we are on the Azure Marketplace, and uh, we're on the SFTV Gateway landing page. So on the left, click uh, Get It Now. You're going to see this modal. It might ask you for additional information. Uh, otherwise, click Continue. And this is going to take you to the Azure portal. On the Azure portal, it's going to show you another landing page here. And you want to click cre uh, Create. And this takes you to the Create a Virtual Machine wizard. Um, here on the Basics tab, I'm going to create a new security group so that I could spin up and delete everything altogether. I'm going to call this SFTP Gateway Demo. And I'm going to name the virtual machine. I'm going to leave these as defaults. And for the administrator account, um, I'm going to set my username to Ubuntu. And for the SSH public key, I happen to have it here. I'm just going to paste it in. Uh, for public inbound ports, I'm going to leave this as none for now. And I'm going to skip over to the networking tab uh, to configure my uh, ingress ports. So for these, I'm going to leave them as default. Uh, it gives me a public IP address. So for the network security group, I'm going to click Advanced, and I'm going to create a new network security group. So here um, is an inbound rule. I'm going to edit the existing one. And for source, I'm going to change it to IP address. I'm going to set it to my office IP address. And I'm going to append slash 32 so that it becomes a CIDR range. Uh, and then for the destination port ranges, I'm going to set this to 22, 80, and 443, separated by commas. Um, for some reason, I need to change the priority, otherwise it's not going to save. And then I'm going to click Save and OK. And I'm going to leave everything else as the default, and I'm going to skip to create, uh, review and create. It's going to run a validation. Uh, if there are any issues that arise, uh, you just need to go back and address those. And then uh, once it's done validating, click create. So it's going to deploy my VM, and this is going to take a few minutes. While I'm waiting, I'm going to create a storage account in the meantime. So toward the left, I'm going to click on Storage Accounts, Add, and I'm going to create a new resource group for the storage account called SFTPGW Demo Storage. For the storage account name, um, I'm going to name it the same thing without hyphens. And for the account kind, I'm going to select blob storage. And for replication, I'm going to select the cheaper one, locally redundant. And I'm going to click review and create. Uh, if it passes validation, I'm going to create, uh, click create. And then after a few seconds, um, it'll finish creating my storage account. So. I'm going to click into my storage account and I'm going to select access keys over on the left. And then here uh, they give you two access keys by default. And I'm going to make a note of this uh, key one key right here. So we'll come back to the storage access key in a moment. Uh, in the meantime, our virtual machine should be done deploying. So. I'm going to click on resource groups, uh, click on my resource group, and uh, select the virtual machine. 
and I'm going to copy the IP address. So right now I'm going to SSH uh, into the VM running this command. So it's uh, SSH followed by dash I and my private key and then the uh, username that I specified earlier followed by the public IP address. And so it let me in. I'm going to elevate my privileges to root. And then I'm going to run two commands for the initial setup. Uh, the first command is going to be uh, storage account setup. Uh, this is what grants SFTP gateway access to write to the storage account. So I'm going to run storage account setup uh, and then if you don't supply any parameters it'll give you a usage so I'm going to type storage account setup uh, account name and then my storage account ca account name is right here followed by the account key and then I'm going to copy uh, this key one value and then it'll take a few minutes uh, a few moments to um, run this command okay the next uh, command that I'm going to run is this reset admin password command. So uh, in a moment I'm going to log into the uh, admin page for managing users uh, and the password by default is set to the uh, VM's computer name. So I'm going to change this real quick. So reset admin password dash p and then um, I'm going to change my password to SFTPGW demo pass. Now I'm going to connect to the user management page uh, by pasting in my public IP address. So here you're going to see a landing page with some instructions on how to bypass the uh, self signed SSL warning. Uh, so click here and it'll take you to HTTPS and then uh, to bypass this warning click on advance and then proceed I'm going to pat um, I'm going to enter my password that I said earlier and then now I'm going to create a user and try to uh, connect as that user over SFTP so I'm going to click create user and I'm going to type in Rob test and here it's going to generate a new SSH key pair for me. I'm going to leave the defaults and click save. And uh, here it should download the private key. Here I have FileZilla open and um, I've opened the site manager and I set the protocol to SFTP. Uh, the host is the public IP address of the VM. Uh, logon type is set to key file, and I set my user name to Rob Test, and uh, the key file is uh, the private key that I downloaded earlier. So I'm going to click connect. And then it should connect and show you. Uh, two folders, local and uploads. I'm going to uh, drop a file into the uploads directory and uh, anything that gets uploaded to the uploads directory will then get copied to uh, Azure Blob Storage. So here's the file uploaded to the server. I'm going to hit refresh and then um, it should disappear. Um, and it disappears because the file gets deleted after it's successfully uploaded to uh, blob storage. 
So I'm going to switch back over to my uh, storage account. And under blobs, uh, this is the name of the container, uh, which by default is set to the virtual machine computer name. And then under my user, Rob Test, I have an uploads directory. And then I have uh, the file that I uploaded earlier. That wraps up the demo. Uh, just to recap, um, we provisioned a VM from the Azure Marketplace. And during the create virtual machine wizard, we added ingress ports for ports 22, 80, and 443. We created a storage account. And then we ran two initial setup commands. Uh, the first command is to set the storage account access keys. And the second command was to reset the password for the uh, user management web page. Then we logged into the user management web page and provisioned a new user and downloaded the private key. Uh, finally, we used that private key to connect via FileZilla um, as the SFTP user. Uh, we uploaded a file and we verified that the file showed up within the storage account. If you have any questions or concerns, you can email us at azure-support at thorntech.com. And thank you for watching.